Ladies and gentlemen and young adults, this is our first ever build a block town hall here at Brooklyn North. I want to give you guys applause. Come on, you guys are here. Come on, you guys are here. That's what it's all about the community, guys. The community. And we're here with the neighborhood coordination offices. And today, our Facebook Live, we're making history today. They're going to be coming in through Facebook. And if you're on Facebook, you're just like if you're here in a town hall. And uh, I would like the people on Facebook, just as the people who are, were here at town hall gave their questions, we want you to give out, ask us your questions about your neighborhood, the things that you want us to hear. There's a lot of issues that's going on, but we're here to answer them. So the neighborhood coordination officers are here to answer them. And if you answer them, on, if you give a question online, we're going to also answer them as well. We're well aware uh, Bushwick does have a lot of drugs in the neighborhood. So something that we're doing, we're not trying to just change that and you know arrest a couple of people that are buying, because they're not the people that are that the issue here. A lot of the issues that we're seeing, it's more the dealers. So what we're doing is we're working like with one of the officers mentioned before, the field intelligence officers, so they can get more information, so we can get the bigger picture. Live. That's amazing. That means the community cares. It's not just only the people who are just sitting here today. It's people who are watching online. They could be actually sitting on their couches. They just maybe didn't have time to come over here. I'm pretty sure all you guys were very busy. I'm not saying that the people were online they didn't want to make it here, but they actually had something to do. But you guys also care as well. So just keep the questions coming. Our time is approaching. What are we doing about the dirt bikes on Pennsylvania Avenue? The 75th Precinct, or on the weekends, uh, we get a few hundred kids there, especially on Saturdays and Sundays. The last thing we need is dirt bikes inside there. The best thing we can do is keep them away, and we're working actually with the uh, parks department um, to try to get some barriers or something else that we can put up there. So these dirt bikes will actually enter these locations. I know you guys are on Facebook Live. Please, Best Stop, uh, Brownsville, East New York, uh, Bushwick, Williamsburg. I know you're on live. Just ask us some questions. I know you're part of this community. Uh, just ask us the questions. Somebody from upstairs, our sergeants, will answer those questions. I want to talk about neighborly disputes. There's a lot of disputes between neighbors and, um, and Niger, and it's not taking us seriously. So what they gave us now is we all go to mediation training. Um, so it's a week long. Um, it, we work with the New York Peace Institute. It's excellent, excellent training. Um, and uh, basically what we can do is we go, we can, you can tell us a little bit about it. We can kind of on the download go between the neighbors, see what's happening, and then we do a referral to mediation, which means one of the parties, we fill out a form, we send it, it goes to the borough, the borough sends it to New York Peace Institute, and the New York Peace Institute reaches out to the parties, and you guys can go to a mediation session. So it, it's, and it's not conflict, nobody's gonna get in trouble, it is voluntary, but it has, it just worked. For two of my neighbors, we used to get so many 311 calls, and now we're, the last 28 day period, we're down to zero, which I thought it was a mistake, and it wasn't, and the mediation worked. Um, so that's basically, and I work in NYCHA, so I know you guys live together, people have been living there for 20 years, and I'm not moving, and you're too loud, and all that, but it does work. So referral to mediation is a really good tool that they just gave us. But I want to personally thank you for inviting us in, because this is the first time something like this has ever been. So I applaud you and what you have done. But most of all, to explain what the NCO has done has really enlightened me. You, I mean, I didn't know that you did all that you did. And to be able to answer those questions and the training that you have went through, I'm really pleased and I commend you for the work that you do. And I just want to say thank you on behalf of our community. Thank you.